and welcome to TFI Cut Tips. Right, this is not a tip or a trick or a tutorial. It's, uh, well, I suppose it's a tip. It might be a tip. I think it might be a tip. Right, uh, Windows 10. I'm going to make this quick. I'm going to make this a quick one. I was going to ramble on for ages about certain things and where I've been for the last few weeks and all that kind of thing, but I don't think anyone actually cares. You know, I think you've, you've managed to get on with your life just fine. Um, but, yeah, Windows 10 happened uh, back at the back end of July. It was a thing. Uh, quite a big deal. It's going to be around for a while, so they say. And there was a blanket not supported statement from Autodesk for all of their kit on Windows 10. And that wasn't just Autodesk, that's all software vendors, even like SolidWorks and all those guys. Um, and it's it's quite a, it's quite a, an awkward thing because all the customers out there of Autodesk want to upgrade to Windows 10. They want to be on the latest operating system. It's a new toy, it's a new thing, you know. And Autodesk is saying, look, we, if you do, our stuff is not going to be supported. So... You know, if you need any help, we can't help you because you're on an unsupported operating system. So there is a differentiation to make between something being not supported and not working. There's a big differentiation to make there. Not supported means that it probably will work, right? You can install something and it'll work, but it means, not supported means that Autodesk haven't tested, not just Autodesk, anyone, I'm using Autodesk because this is an Autodesk channel. It means that they haven't tested it internally and certified everything as being functional. It also means that if something is not supported, if you go to Autodesk for technical support, they will not help you or they will not be obliged to help you. It'll be in the small print somewhere in the terms and conditions that if you're running an unsupported setup, then they're not obliged to give you technical support. So with that in mind, for the last six weeks-ish, maybe five weeks since the release of Windows 10, most of Autodesk's kit has been not supported on Windows 10. However, the last couple of days, this statement has been released into the wild. Inventor 2016 is now supported on Windows 10. Whee! So, I mean, that didn't stop me. <laughs> on day one, I went and installed Windows 10 and all the Autodesk stuff, and it all worked absolutely fine. But like I said, it doesn't mean it's supported. Uh, but Inventor 2016 is now supported. Previous versions like 2015, 14, etc., they're not supported yet. Autodesk aren't, a, well, I don't know. The three versions back rule might kick in, so they might have to make sure that the other versions are. But certainly going back to like 2012, 2011, they definitely won't be supported. And they won't be making any efforts to get those supported either, if you're still running on those. Um, I don't mean, I don't care much for AutoCAD on this channel. Um, it's, I mean, AutoCAD is important, obviously. It's a big thing. <laughs> More people use AutoCAD than Inventor. Um, but it's this isn't really an AutoCAD channel. But AutoCAD's, um, they've released a statement because of the popularity, obviously, of AutoCAD. They've had to say, look, Invent uh, AutoCAD 2016 and its verticals, so mechanical, electrical, etc., they should be installable and perform on Windows 10. So they should work, they're saying, but that's not a statement of support. What they have said is that there'll be an up-and-coming service pack soon for AutoCAD that will get those working and supported properly. Um I think this uh, this might be a typo. The 2014 to 2000. I'm assuming that means 2012 to 2013 versions of AutoCAD products will not be supported on Windows 10. Uh, they they need to make support for AutoCAD 2014 because it's that's still you know within the three versions back rule. Um, but I don't know. Maybe they've got the rights to say that it won't be. There might be something about that particular version that just won't work on Windows 10. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, that's it. So what I would suggest you do, if you can, if you're interested in this sort of thing, is take a note of the title along the top, the address, and check on this page. This page is going to be updated on a regular basis. It has been previously updated on a regular basis. Uh, like a few weeks ago, it was just like everything's not supported, and now slowly news has been filtered onto here uh, to say that things are supported. So yes, crucially, Inventor 2016 is supported. Uh, as you can see, I have Windows 10 here. There it is working in all its glory and there's inventor 2016 firing up and working just well working just fine it's not really doing anything it's just loading up and nothing uh but you know it does work and it i've been i've been running it for the last four or five weeks and it's been working absolutely fine with no issues at all so um there you go so windows 10 and inventor 2016 is now supported you're now free green light to go ahead and get Windows 10 installed, providing that you've got nothing else. You know, it's not my place to say, it's none of my business, but, you know, make sure if you do have other stuff on your PC, like of uh, ERP systems, CRM programs, accounting timesheets, you know, anything else that your business might need, uh, those programs may not be supported on Windows 10, so just check around 
check the other vendors and see what their support status is for Windows 10. All right then, thank you very much. That's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I got. Like the video if you found it useful or, you know, it's useful. I mean, I haven't told you anything you couldn't have found somewhere else on the internet, but, you know. Uh, subscribe if you like the other stuff and all that kind of thing. Cheers, bye.